Welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be working on door number two. Previously, we installed the door hardware on our front door, came out beautiful. Today, we're ready to get the door hardware installed on our balcony door. This door is a little different because we're gonna be painting it. Now, before I paint, I think I wanna get this door ready for hardware. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these latch openings squared up for my square plates that are gonna go in here. Right now they have these little rounded corners and I have to put these on. And then we'll work on the jam side and then I think we'll be ready for paint. We're gonna be installing the same set that we put on the front door on this door. So that's gonna be the inside knob. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna start notching and get these doors customized. And then I'll show you guys the paint. If you guys saw the previous door install, you'll know that I had trouble with these two plates. This is the security plate for strength, and this is the decorative plate, and they go like that. Well, they don't sit together very good, but this set does sit together better than the previous one. The other one was almost quarter inch thick altogether. This one, it sits a lot better. It's still not perfect though, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill out these holes a little bit so that this plate can sit flush against here and then I'll get the jam notched out. So there it is. I got my security plate drilled out so that this can fit on it better. It looks a lot nicer when it's flat and it'll fit in the door frame easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this notched out to fit this larger plate. Well guys it's not you know a thousand percent perfect but it looks really good. We got it all in there. Now we got to pull the hardware off the door so we can paint the door and then we're gonna install the set. Well, not too exciting, but I got tape on the glass. I have tape on the hinges. And I cleaned the door, got all the dirt off it, and I think we're ready. So let's open the paint, get painting, don't judge us. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> you just started. <laughs> you had a big glob on the back side. <laughs> if you did an Olympic sport, what sport would it be? Um. Mine would be ice skating. Today's been weird. It started off super warm, and then it got rainy and cloudy, and then it stopped, and then it got really warm and beautiful, and then it stopped, and now it's raining again, and it's windy. Man, I can't wait to have a beautiful flower garden. Just everything. All the wooden walls, no drywall, the floating toilet. Mm -hmm. Is that a glob of paint over there? by the hinge. So we're gonna be bouncing around a little bit today, trying to get some work done on the renovation. We're back in the bathroom renovation today because I wanted to work on this box in the ceiling and I thought I'd bring you guys along. This is the vent box for the bathroom vent. So what I wanna to do today is get that a little more hooked up, which means venting it outdoors and maybe installing the fan so 
I'll see what I can get done. So this is the fan that I actually got for this bathroom. It says it's made in the USA and it's quiet. So I already installed the metal can. That just gets screwed to the studs. Now I'm gonna be um, attaching the pipe adapter and damper. So we are outside right now and as you saw I just pulled off some of the soffit. All this has to be replaced. I mean it's pretty nasty but underneath it's in pretty good shape overall. Right here I just notched the way at the top plate just a little bit. I mean it's really not much at all. Just to give myself a little more room to get the duct through here without being crushed. This is a bracket, goes to the exhaust vent. So let me get that hooked on here. I got, whoa, some zip ties. I'm done with the outside. I'm gonna put the cover on it temporarily and then we'll we'll obviously take it off when we finish the eaves again. So in case you're wondering about that soffit vent I just installed, it is the Easy Soffit vent. And made in USA. Seems like it's good quality. It was an easy install. That's all I have to say about that. Let's get back inside and finish hooking up the fan. I'm using an insulated flexi duct. So this has some insulation in here and the duct in the middle of it. That's more important for like the Northern living. We're in Florida. It's not gonna be a big deal, but we do get some cold weather. I don't want condensation. So I'm gonna try to insulate that to prevent condensation and our ceiling. I'm gonna throw a little bit of tape on here. I guess now I can do my electrical. It's tough to see in here. I don't have the lights on, so I did get the electrical installed into the box. Almost done with this. All right, done for now. Got the blower in there. It's all hooked up, we're ready to go. Short duct, it looks squished right there. The insulation is squished, but not the, not the duct work. So it's gonna be fine. While I'm tackling small jobs, maybe I'll get this wall box on for the outdoor lighting. So this box is pretty simple, a little plastic box, and that's all there is to it. We're going to pop out one of these circles for the wire to come through, and then it gets hooked to the wall. This box is kind of dual purpose. It could be new construction with the nailing fin or retrofit by breaking these fins off at the brake lines. I'm actually going to do that, even though we don't have siding, 
I just want this to lay super flat to the house without leaving a bump. Okay, looking good. So did you see the video the other day when I installed PEX under the house? Well, I didn't have the support hangers I needed. I got them, so I'm gonna install these also. I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, we got our pecs all neatened up and hung. So that's another job off the list. Looking good down here. Good. Excellent. So the paint is dry now. We got our two coats on. I pulled the tape off and it's looking pretty good. It's not perfect, but painting doors is hard work. <laughs> Anyway, it looks good. I like the green. We're not sure if it's the right green, but we like it. It, mm, I don't know. We, we might have wanted to go a little bit darker, mm -hmm. but it's hard to tell because we don't have everything else going on yet. We decided we're gonna change this trim color so that's not gonna stay green. Uh, it is what it is. I wish I could show you more of the door. We got this tarp, everything's so awkward, but you can see it. One more job done, many jobs done, and I'm gonna wait on the hardware. I was hoping I could have it in for you guys. You could see it all finished, but this paint is so fresh and soft that I'm just afraid of marring it, banging around the metal hardware on the door. Mm -hmm. It's gonna scratch very easily. Latex paint on a door is very tricky. It's soft. Yep. And I'm just gonna give it a, probably a few more days just to sit and dry and cure a little and hope it just bonds really good and then it won't be as sensitive because even pulling that tape off, I nicked a couple spots just by hitting it with my fingernail or, you know, it's just very soft. That's it. That's the story. We're done. We got the door painted. That's the first color that you're going to see of the exterior of our house and the interior. I decided to do the door the same color on both sides because I like, I don't like dual color doors. We just decided to pick a color that would work for both sides. That's all. You got anything else you want to say? No. I don't want to commit to anything, but we got our tile tools, so we should be working on some tiling soon. And we're really excited to get to that project, so stay tuned for that. But that's all we have for now, so until next time, take care. Bye.